now we are going to see our fourth experiment we have to design a universal shift register so using our hdl using very lot we are going to design it and we have to simulate it and as usual we have to implement it so first of all i am going to open my xilinx so here how to close the already available projects so you can do that by choosing the option of file in our toolbox and click close project and then now you can choose our new project go to the file and click new project so in the new project wizard give the name of our new project so now we are going to design our universal shift register so i'm going to give the name as univ underscore shift so then click next next and finish so now we can check here our chip is ready so highlight the device and right click and go for the option of new source in the new source window choose verilog module and again give the name univ underscore shift so you can click next next and finish see now our v file window got opened here type the code so here i have already typed the code going to paste it and after paste i got some errors which is nothing but caps the coding is in caps so i'm going to change it into small letters so if and then data out then else then begin so every word is having the capital letter at the starting point so it's showing as an error so i'm going to change it into small letter so you can note that once we change into small letter it is getting changed so i can do this and say once we saved it once we saved you can go for check syntax so expand the synthesis and click check syntax so here there is an error we have got the error you can check the error in our error window so you can get that line number 39 yes so here they are showing an error so this n case is for our and to end our case here and if we are for first begin we have ended and for this begin we have in type our end so i type in that and then after that i am going to save it and again here run the check syntax now we have got the verified symbol green tick verified symbol and there is no error in our design and you can check the rtl schematic also for our shift register click okay and you can see here so clock reset and mode mode of operation since it is an universal shift register so there are many shift registers are available parallel in parallel out serial in parallel out so this very many number of types and modes are available so since this is an universal one it should uh, perform all the operations all different types of operations and which operation to be performed is decided by this mode so that's why i have written mode and data in is nothing but our four bit value and data out is our shifted value you can check the code here so Uh, data out out is an output value output register value and it should be in 4 bit number and the data in should should also be a 4 bit number and mode selection mode selection in the sense it's a 2 bit number so which mode so here i have written the case when it is a 00 mode 
my data out should be equal to our data out and when it is in, in zero sorry one one mode we have written wrongly it is one one so whenever it is a one one uh, case one one mode our data in should be data out which is nothing but parallel in parallel out and this is our uh, left shift uh, this is our right shift so all this mode of operations are controlled by this words 0 0 0 1 and 1 0 and 1 1 here 2 indicates only 2 bit we are going to use also here B indicates it's a binary bit value so this 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 indicates our mode of operation so whenever we give this particular number we will get that particular operation to be done so it, it will happen by means of whenever our clock is, clock is at positive edge so we have finished this once again I can run the check syntax and now we can go for test bench window so right click the device and click new source there choose the option of verilog text picture and give the file name so enough underscore shift is my file name so for that file I'm going to create test bench so I'm adding another word test so click next next and finish now the test bench is being creating and after that go for simulation and highlight the test bench and expand the IC simulator and click behavioral check syntax once it is completed successfully go for simulate behavioral model it is running or simulation is running ISIM window get got open and now here can force the positive edge of clock by using force constant as well as force clock value now I am going to give force constant value so can it's a binary value I'm going to give us one click apply and click OK then reset is zero and you can change that to force constant one apply and then OK then now I'm going to verify the mode operation parallel in parallel out concept so I'm going to choose the value of one one and I'm how to give the input value so which input value this operation to be performed so one zero one zero click apply and click ok once you force the values go for save button and after that click the run button once the run operation is performed click this run at the end of the operation you can get the output okay we are getting the zero zero output once I change the reset value we can check the answer apply ok 0 say run ok we can check whether we have uh, written the code correctly or not now we are going to see how to implement our universal shift register coding into our kit in our FBGA board so you can check here so in the design constraint you can find here a v5 your v5 here and after that you have to add a constraint file which is nothing but pin descriptions so which will carry what are all the pins we are going to assign as an input and output uh, for our uh, universal shift register so this is nothing but ucf file user constraint file so we can add this by select highlighting this device and right click and view new source here you have to choose the option of implementation constraint file and provide the name and uh, you can close this which I have already provided here as univ shift dot ucf file so this is the syntax to write this uh, pin assignment here net in the sense which indicates the which pin we are going to allocate so in our coding we can go through the coding in our verilog code here I have written the uh, input as data in which is a 4 bit input and uh, in order to, to choose the mode of operation so which mode so for example if it is a 0 0 the, if, what is the data out will be come out if it is 0 1 there is 1 bit uh, LFS, uh, which is left side shifting 
So and then one zero for right side shifting. And whenever a case of one one is given, we have to shift the entire data that is parallel in parallel out. So what is whatever is we are giving in the input will be seen at the output. Okay, so here we are having clock reset as well as mode and data in. Four different inputs are available. So for each that input, we have to assign FBGA pin. So here for our data input four bit number, I have allocated pin number T14, T12, T9 and T7. And here for our mode two input operation, T G T12 and sorry T2 and G12, I have allocated. And then for output, uh, we have to allocate the LED pins, which is R12, T4. And for reset, I have given H1 and clock default uh, value of our clock pin in our FPGA is A8. Spartan, Spartan is A8. So I have given that. So once we have finished this one, we have to go for our V file, highlight the V file. And after that, in that uh, process window, we have to run this implementation design. We have to run it. Once all the check, mar check marks are done using the green color tick, we can go for generating programming file. Okay, you can find here, which I have already found. We can do again. So I can save again. So now we can again check by running it. I'm going and click run. Now the translation process is running. After that, the map process is running. And now again, place and route is running. Once it is completed, you have to go for generate programming file. Right click that and run. Then click configure target device. A new window will pop up in that click OK. And now in this impact window, how to choose the option of boundary scan. And in this new wizard, go for right clicking and choose add xylene device and you have to browse the dot bit file so dot bit file is available here this is our shifters dot bit file so kindly open it and now place the cursor at the silence and right click choose the option of program so click ok Now our coding is being downloading to our kit. So we can get the option of program succeeded. So in simulation, we have given the input as 1010 and mode is 11, which is nothing but whatever I am giving in my data input, I have to get in my data output parallel in parallel out. Uh, the shifting operation of parallel in and parallel out has happened here. So I have, I have to check the same answer in our kit. So we can see in our kit. Now we can see here from start from switch number four to switch number seven, I have uh, assigned the pin for data input. So here I have given the uh, answer value as zero, one and zero and one. So this is our data input value and we can check the data output here. So zero, one, zero, one. So whatever I have given in my data input, I have got here because only second LED and the fourth LED is glowing, which indicates one uh, value is the our answer. So mode allocation I have given here switch eight and switch nine. Both are in toggle, both the toggle switches are in one position. So you can check here. So whenever I have written the code, whenever the mode is one one, we have to get the parallel shifting operation. So we have got that. Similarly, we can get the another operations by changing our mode of operations by here. Okay, we can change the mode of operations here and we can get the outputs. Thank you.